so well, welcome to uh, tonight's extra video. Our extra videos are getting harder and harder to do, you guys, because we don't have a trainer. Normally, we sh normally we show our lessons, our COVID, Ugh. Ugh. our COVID shutdown is set to expire on the 11th of February. So 10 more days. It could, uh, it could be. It could be reinstated because that happens all the time. It's so super annoying. Super annoying. But anyway, welcome to today's video. Hopefully, you are still finding these videos entertaining. I'm riding Tino. Yeah. This will so, swap it up for y'all. Yeah, I want to ride him again too. If you didn't see it, I rode Chino. Yep, I did. So anyways, this is what we have set up. We just have a couple of um, Cavalettis over there. And we have this. Part of the reason is, is that Chino is recuperating. And... We're saving all the exciting stuff for when our trainers get back. All the inventive stuff. Whenever Gabby rides Finn, she's the nicest that she ever is to Sophie because she loves riding him so much. And she wants to like facilitate an, an, an experience that Sophie will let her ride him again. Ooh, it is cold as heck. Good, you, like, yeah, every horse teaches a different story. Every horse has a different story to tell and a different lesson to teach. But oh boy. So anyways, also Gabby is uh, still bringing Chino back into work. He was off about six weeks, maybe seven weeks. I don't know, six or seven weeks he was off. And actually probably less, probably six weeks max. And so it's going to take us it's a while to get him back where he was. weird thing about horses is that you don't want to push them. We were moving perfectly. Sophie really likes riding him. I think one of the things about Chino is that he's like a slow horse. He's bouncy, but he likes to go slow. Do you like Chino's kind of fast? Like he's not slow, he's fast, but not fast like Finn. Like Chino. He's like really tired than that. Do you find him like fast or slow? Slow, but can be fast. Slow, <laughs> yeah, slow. But yeah, he's a, he's a nice horse. If he wasn't so big, I'd probably really like him. I wish he was taller. Gabby was just. I don't mind a tall horse. I don't like a bit long backed horse. I don't like that feeling. I don't like that back. I don't like that feeling of a long back horse. Right Why do you like riding Chino right now? It gives her a new challenge. And sometimes I think like if you stop riding your horse and ride another for a few days, then when you go back to your horse, you're a different rider already. Like you're a totally different rider and you have new things to bring to your horse. And I think it's good for your horse to get used to other people too. Penny rides really well for Sophie, better than she rides for me. You know I met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night. Remember seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd. There was something about you cause you got stuck in my mind. Stuck in the that was you that got scared, that was you. <laughs> That's <laughs> Your pony didn't care? He didn't care either. Sophie heard it and then freaked out. <laughs> your heart jumped, but your pony didn't care. He did when I jumped. Yeah, because you said, oh my god, be scared. Stuck in my mind. I thought I'd give it a go and I started talking to you I don't know what I said but the next thing I knew Is that I held you in my arms and you asked what we should do What should we do? What should we do? I said you can do what you want to with me Yeah, I won't mind As long as you stay with me, I'm alright I wanna hold ya So Gabby's telling Finn not to jump it Oh boy. That's why he's not 
all he did was a sidestep. <laughs> Gabby, you missed it. We went fast. <laughs> the snow fell. All he did was sidestep. Woo woo woo. <laughs> That's the worst feeling when your butt falls to the ground. I remember that feeling. You know what my horse does when she spooks? She stands still and gets really quiet and listens. Which is my favorite way of spooking. Except that the whole time she's standing there on alert, I'm expecting her to take off and that is a terrifying, terrifying moment. Yeah, Finn is the energizer bunny. He can go and go and go and go. Okay. All right, so Sophie's gonna canter Chino. All right. And it'll be better here because of the footing. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Oh. Wrong back lead. That's okay. He'll be already going fast. He tried to run in the towards the I, snow I cracked snow. myself up. That was funny. Come on, you guys. Admit it. It was funny. Have your leg. He's not going if you don't have leg. Now, now, don't hold his face. Hands forward. I actually think Sophie looks better on him. Need support on the corners. He's gonna stop right here. There you go. Yeah, don't breathe out. Corner. Here. Oh, Gabby! Don't do that! She lived. I don't want to catch her. You don't want to catch her? Gabby did that stop. So see what she's doing? She. <laughs> you have to try him. You have to carry him the other way. Otherwise, he'd be unbalanced. So just put your feet out and sit back when. Hold on to dear. Yeah, before you breathe out. Then you can lean on his neck when you stop. Him, you would be on the ground. So off. He's like, woo, she, he's like an uh, uh, accordion. His neck just meets his butt. That was not very nice. But he, it's because Gabby lets him do that. Gabby, yeah, you're... I'm going to teach him how to do Yeah, teach him not to do that. So I'm going to be riding him here. Are you going to so be riding So I know how to stick that. Okay. Well, because you did stick it. Do you guys see it? It's a shape. It's a heart. I found some other hearts, but they were uh, horse poop hearts. <laughs> I didn't think you guys would want to see them, so I didn't show those. Club and we started walking the streets and then we stopped for a while and you said you want to kiss me i remember thinking is this really happening 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 i never thought i'd meet someone so beautiful i couldn't quite believe it it was magical just kissing on the street lights on our way back home our way back home our way back home i said you can do what you want to with me yeah i won't mind as long as you stay with me, I'm alright. I wanna hold ya. Sit up, Soph. I are you too? Are you uh, light seating or are you just? Because he is bouncy and I have no... Put up. Put up. Me. And me. Yeah. So she's not leaning forward to lean forward. She's uh, trying to do light seat. And he's bouncy and I'm not used to it. So. Yeah, so he's bouncing all around. Really 
So, what do you think? Really bouncy, but I just need to keep riding. Yeah, I just gotta practice. What do you think? Chino, you like her? I'm actually warm today. Huh? I'm actually warm today. So Sophie's got some trap pole set up. So people are people are saying go straight to the end and then turn just before the end. So keep going straight, 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 straight. Now turn. See? It's too hard. He struggles a lot with that, especially cantering. He doesn't do tight turns. He's too long. This pony does tight turns. That does not tight turns. All right, all of you people out there that said she needs to go to the end, explain. Leg. There you nice. Go. There you go. Leg. While holding his head. There you go. Three, two, one. Nice. <gasps> that was funny. Gabby just said, she's got my sense of humor, you guys. She said, you notice how when he frames, he lifts his feet up. That's why I said, hold him. Go boy, though. She said, he does better when he's engaged. Well, sort of engaged. He doesn't have a ring yet. <laughs> Funny. Too far apart for him? No, he just wants to jump though. Gabby, I think you're really broken. Oh boy. So Finn wants to jump them, so Gabby's trying to talk him out of jumping them. Point a little bit before because he will take the long long. Don't tell her that. Well, I don't want her pulling on my machine belt. Yeah, I know. Well, no matter what you say, you will take a long time. Gabby. I was pulling hard on him. He was like, we're not in me. Good boy. There you go. Once upon a time, there were two little girls that wanted to ride more and more and more. Their only options were to take lessons. But they wanted more than lessons. They wanted to bond with the horse. They wanted to spend time with the horse. They wanted to go to the barn whenever they wanted. They wanted to groom for hours. They wanted to do the, they wanted to have the entire horse experience. And then one day, their parents finally said, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get a lease horse. So they got a lease horse and they loved that horse and they loved the opportunities it brought. It didn't just bring opportunities to spend time with the horse, it brought opportunities to spend time with their friends, time to play at the barn. It became a big, it became a big, huge social situation. And yet they still wanted more. So then as time went on, it, came, it became time to say goodbye to that lease horse. They cried and cried and it, this was an awful experience. I cried so much. Oh yeah, I cried and cried. And so they knew they needed a more permanent experience. And so they got another horse and then they got another horse. And it was so blissful. It continued to be a social situation. It provided so many opportunities for the girls to ride, to bond, to play, to engage in horses in a whole other way that you don't sometimes get to do when you're just taking lessons. And then finally, they ended up with six horses. Some of them ponies, some of them minis. A gated horse. Horses they never knew that they wanted. Their story evolved and changed. Oh boy. Yeah, look at us. And 
and the girls evolved and changed and they do different things with the different horses. And everywhere they went, people judged them and people had opinions about all the things they were doing wrong. But also, there were many people who saw the amazing things that came with their journey. That journey took three years. That journey from zero horses to six horses took three years. In three years, they went from having... When I walk, let go of my reins. How do you do? Yeah, it was gorgeous. In three years, the girls went from riding in lessons to riding whenever they wanted, to doing liberty with their horses, to playing with their horses, to doing so many horse shows, rising up the levels, having the opportunity to ride horse after horse after horse, learning how to take care of one horse from, from one injury to the next, Learning how to manage the whole new horse situation because getting a new horse is a whole situation. It takes so much time. There's a honeymoon period and then a bad period. In just three years, that is how our story has evolved. I started riding. I got my own horse. We started riding at the Pasofino place. Our opportunity to ride and to evolve in the horse world has been astronomical. I can't even imagine what another three years is going to be like. And the reason I told you this story today is because there are so many of you out there in our exact situation three years ago. And your, and your journey with horses might not start today or tomorrow or next year. They might start when you're older. But I can assure you that the plan, your plan, will be just as amazing as our plan has been for us. You love riding Chino? Because you dress you down and you learn how to wear up. Good. And you learn how to spooks? Yeah, I'm like that too. I love challenging things that teach me. Don't you know that you're beautiful?